Hello craft team, in this video we shall be making this beautiful gorgeous velvet bowl for a baby Watch till the end, I will drop the measurements for adults If you are new here, you are highly welcome, let's get crafting If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I am Ibiwari. For our project, we'll be needing some items. We we'll need our scissors. We we'll need our needle and thread. We we'll need our tape. We we'll need our velvet fabric. Where I'm having two pieces here, and we'll be needing a sewing machine for this project. That's all we needed. For the small piece, the length is six inches, and the width is three inches. 6 inches length, 3 inches width. Then for the longer piece, the length is 24 inches, 24.5 inches, sorry, 24.5 inches length and 6 inches width. The width is 6 inches while the length is 24.5 inches. So that, that's the measurement and I'll still leave it in the description box below. All items used will be in the description box below so you can check it out there and follow along. So for the long piece, I'll fold it in half widthwise. I'll fold it in half widthwise. Then I'll sew across the length. I'll fold it in half width side with the good side facing each other. With this good side facing each other, I'll fold it in half widthwise and sew along the length. I'll do the same for the short, the smaller fabric. Fold it in half widthwise and sew along the length. The good side facing each other. I'm done sewing. I'll turn it over now to the good side. I'll turn it over to the good side. I'll turn both of the fabric to the good side. So once I'm done turning, I'll bring the sewn part to the center. You can iron at this point. So now that sewn part will be our wrong side. So with our wrong side facing us, I'll fold it in half lengthwise. With our wrong side facing us, I'll fold it in half lengthwise. So I'll now sew the open edge. I'll fold it in half lengthwise and sew the open edge. So once I'm done sewing, I'll fold it to the good side now. I'll fold it to the good side. Now the good side is facing me with the sewn edge, with the sewn part on the edge. With the sewn part on the edge, the good side facing me. I'll measure out four inches. I'll measure out four inches. With the good side facing me, the sewn part on the edge, I'll measure out four inches. Once I measure out, I'll mark, I'll put a mark there. Then when I'm sewing, I'll sew and leave the thread. I won't cut off the thread at the end. I'll sew and leave excess thread. I'm done sewing it. Then with the other, the first sewn part still on the edge, and I've sewn that four inches mark and my SS thread, I'll pass my needle through it. Once I pass my needle through it, I will make a knot to secure my needle. I make my knot like twice to secure my needle. So if you didn't leave SS thread, you can also thread your needle separately for this um, part. But if you did, still all good and fine, whichever is more convenient for you. After nothing, I went ahead to cut my thread, so now my needle is well secured to my thread. So I'll now bring this, the first edge which I sewed, I'll bring it now to the center. With the 4 inches mark area I sewed, it will now be on the center. Both are lining together. The first edge and the 4 inches edge is now aligning together the first edge and the um, four inches edge is now aligning together brought to the center now this is where we make our bow wash closely i'll fold the upper edge a little bit inwards and fold 
Now the upper is the upper part that is aligned. I'm holding. I didn't hold all the headband together. Just the the part that will form our bow and the upper part of the headband. I'll fold it inwards and outwards. Just wash closely inwards then outwards. I'll do it for the both the upper and the lower part inwards and outwards. You can wash this part as much as you can slow it down so you get it correctly inwards and outwards once you you get it you hold it in place you hold it in place like this then i'll use that needle that thread to wrap it around to secure it i use the thread to wrap it around and secure it once i wrap it around to secure i'll now stitch with the needle that is the essence of leaving that excess. But if you didn't, you didn't, and you have you threaded your needle separately, you can still do this bit. If you've watched up to this point and you've not joined the craft team, what are you waiting for? You're definitely doing something wrong. Click on the subscribe button now to join the craft team for more Edward tutorial, fashion accessory, DIYs, millinery tips, and more on the channel. Click on the subscribe button to join the craft team and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when new video drops. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on anything on this channel. So click that subscribe button now and join the craft team. Let's grow together, let's learn together, let's have fun together on this channel. Let's slay together on this channel. Let's be our sister's keepers on this channel. And if you did uh, recreate those headband, please kindly connect with us on Facebook, it is fine crafties, and our group page, Facebook group page, it is fine crafties. Connect and share your recreations. Let's see it. Let's applaud you. Let's appreciate you, and let's learn together. So for the measurement I used here is for a baby. So for adult, for adult use the head circumference of the adult plus six inches more now if you want your head and your bow to be bigger increase the inches you're adding to the head circumference take note for adults use the head circumference plus six inches more or increase the length as the inches as the way you want as big as you want your bow that's it that that's just a simple tweak to it increase the inches as big as you want your bow so i'm done stitching my bow i will not mind not my thread to secure it i did this twice i felt like i needed to do it one more extra time and i did it the extra time and i'll cut off my thread so that first smaller piece we did at the beginning, this is what we are using it for. This is the use of that smaller piece. So this part, hold this smaller piece firmly to your bow and to the your headband. That's the upper part of your headband. Hold it firmly before you sew. I use needle and thread. You can use your machine to also sew it. Sew it down tight because if you sew it loosely, it will wobble when the person it will like turn over to where the stitch mark will show. But if you hold it firmly, if you hold it firmly tight and sew, it will not wobble. Once you're done sewing, you cut off the excess. You cut off the excess, then you turn it over. The other trick once you turn it over, you can go ahead to do tiny invisible stitch at the back so it won't move it will just stay in place so your sewn part will just be at the back it won't be visible anytime in the front so you just use tiny tiny stitch invisible to sew at the back and keep it firmly in place so if you like this headband let us know your thoughts let's hear you leave us a comment in the comment section look how beautiful it is it is giving vibes the color is giving vibes fun lively you can use it for your casual location for your cute baby girls 
just go ahead to recreate this and let's see what your recreations are for adults under reminder air circumference plus six inches extra or depending how big you want it whatever you can think you can recreate you can create be creative and buy